Un brindis por los niños. Salud. ¿Estás bien? ¿Qué pasó? Hi, Michelle. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure, Jenna. Yes. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, 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 it's interesting to talk about the movie and looking forward to the U.S. release. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, absolutely. I came dressed for, for the occasion and I thought that the movie was very provocative. There is a very interesting message, message there. And how was like the inspiration for the script? I started writing uh, seven years ago, and it's mainly uh, wealth disparity, inequity. Uh, this movie is a way of saying we cannot keep keep on going in this uh, wrong direction. Uh, so I found it interesting, and I remember the day I thought, what if I make a movie on a big scale, on a large scale, about the day a country breaks down, and what would happen after? It was all very exciting, but challenging at the same time. So uh, uh, it's been a long process, and 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 I I'm, I'm satisfied with the with with the final result, and and especially because I I find that it's uh, it triggers uh, discussions, and people are you know it 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 it's impossible after watching the, this movie not to. Uh, think about what you saw, and 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 it's interesting to for me as a director to hear everyone's opinion. Yes, and I and I think it's not just a, a issue in Mexico. I think it's a universal issue, especially in Latin America. We have this difference of like too much money in a small group of people, and everybody else like suffering. So you can see that that's why I think the movie is so relevant and it, it, we need to start talking about this more and more, right? Absolutely. So another thing is, I want to know what was like the most challenged part for you as a director? I guess there are a few, but writing a script with, with several points of view, with, with different characters, and then uh, production-wise and, and as a director, producer, to uh, have 3,000 extras and to uh, special effects and all that, I had to uh, get out of my comfort zone, so to speak, and 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 make it believable. So that was very hard because, of course, we didn't have a, a huge a Hollywood budget, but the film had to look as if. So that was <laughs> that was tricky. Yeah, but I, I think it was very effective. And I'm curious to know why did you pick green instead of pink or blue? I don't know or yeah. red. Uh, that's a good question. It, it it came out of the Mexican flag, which is the the, the green that's everywhere, and red. I I uh, uh, Marianne, the bride, is dressed in red, so that kind of uh, mirrors the flag. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that I was like, oh, either red, I think red is too close to, to blood. That's so I don't thing. think it will be make the effect. And white is, I think, goes to yeah. peace. So I yeah. don't think, but I, I think I think it was great. And and also the cast, we talk about Nayan. And I think the cast is really good. She's great on the as Marianne. Why she was so special? How did you pick her? I, I know Nayan since she was 14 years old. I'm very close to her family. Her sister is the main actress of uh, Después de Lucia. So I wrote it for her, and there's a lot of the character uh, that comes from her personality. Uh, of course, she's a talented actress, and, 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 and she trusted me, and, and I pushed her to her limit, and, and it, it was a very... Uh, we enjoyed the experience uh, tremendously, both of us. I think I think it was great, and I spoke to her, and she was very one of the first things that she wanted to be part of the movie was because of you, <laughs> and and because of the script. I think was was great. And what do you think people here in the U.S. are gonna take away from the movie? Because it's a different crowd, right? Yeah, yeah, but but nevertheless, I I think. People in the U.S. are quite dissatisfied with many things. Uh, 
and the, the movie reflects that. Uh, I think people in the States know that uh, things have to change and improve uh, in, in, and, and people need to feel more empathy and, and uh, that's all in the movie. So I think it won't seem like such a, um, a crazy scenario. I think Americans will, will be able to recognize a lot of themselves and, and, and their troubles in the movie. It's quite universal. It, this is pretty much the same reaction that I get in, in, in European countries, in Asia. And, and I made an effort to keep it that way, to, to not be too specific about Mexico. So that could happen with, with uh, worldwide audiences. That's awesome. Michelle, I just want to thank you so much for your time, a lot of success, and I, I cannot wait for everybody to watch New Order. Muchas thank gracias. You. Gracias a ti. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank Ciao. you. Oye, ¿qué haces? Hey, hey. Por favor, baje el arma. Ok, llévate lo que quieras. Mira, aquí está. Pero por favor. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.